Hello beautiful people, my name is Veronica and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be cutting my hair. I'm going to try the butterfly haircut because honestly from tutorials I watched it looks like the easiest haircut to do and I need easy because I am not a professional by any means. I think my hair could really use some layers. I have a lot of hair, it's not like thick hair but there's a lot on my head and I feel like sometimes it's just a little and I do have more of a round oval face and I feel like face framing layers is really complimentary with that. We'll see how it looks in the end. This is gonna be my first time trying a haircut like this. I've trimmed my hair before and I've also cut my own curtain bangs back in the day. I myself like to watch YouTube videos of people cutting their hair and dyeing their hair. So we're gonna be trying it ourselves. I'm bringing positive vibes into this video because I'm a little nervous I'm going to be messing this up, but Either you get a good laugh at my mess up or you get some good insight on how to cut your hair yourself in the butterfly styled haircut. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. I post travel content, vlog content, beauty content, fashion content, all the content. I'm just a girl in her 20s trying to seize the day and live her best life and I'm documenting my journey on YouTube, so. But without further ado, let's get into the hair cutting tutorial. I'm gonna hop into the shower and wet my hair because you always gotta have wet hair when you're cutting it. And I'll be back. Alrighty, so we are freshly showered and looking like a wet rat and ready to cut our hair. I'm mainly gonna be following Brad Mondo's tutorial. If you've seen my going from blonde to brunette video, you know that I followed one of his tutorials there and it turned out pretty good for me. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below for you to watch. Um, but with that, I figured I could trust the old guy with this tutorial as well. So on that note, he said to look for the apex of your head right there. And then basically you're going to be sectioning the top of your head down behind your ears. And we're gonna take that section forward to do a ponytail and then everything in the back into its own ponytail. Let me show you. I was looking for my sectioning comb earlier and I guess I lost it. So this is gonna be very difficult, but we're gonna do our best with the tools we have. So we got our apex hair, all righty. It's about right there. And we're going to basically turn ourselves into the grudge. I'm just going to do a rough section with my brush and then fine tune it with the comb I have. All right, looks like we're finally done with the front section. My little baby hairs refuse to participate. And that's just the best it's gonna be, you know, for me. I'm not a professional. Okay, I know it's not supposed to be too tight, so let's just tie this off um, and just make sure everything's smooth. Looks like there's a little bump hair. I'm not British, I don't know what I'm doing. All right. And you basically wanna just tie it in between your eyebrows. The first ponytail is commencing. I look so stupid. All right. It's now time to do the back and make it as high as possible. We got to use our guns because this is going to be a workout. Let's do it. Let's finally move on to the fun part, which is cutting the hair. So from Brad Mondo's tutorial, it really seemed like he cut it where the chin is. And I would assume that's so the face framing layers fall in that area. So that's what we're gonna do. And girl, that is a lot of inches, but that's okay. One, because I don't mind if my hair is shorter. Two, because when my hair was full on, it got really damaged. So I am happy to get rid of these wispy ends. Okay, let's just, let's just cut. I'm gonna go like right below the chin. I think that would be ideal. Oh my God, I'm doing it. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. 
It's a little lopsided, but that's okay because we could just even that shit out. What is this random fucking hair clip? Okay. I will say these hair cutting scissors are old and dull. I know, I should just get new ones. This is the look. That was actually about four inches, maybe a little bit more. Um, and perfect, you know? <laughs> Let's go ahead and do the back side. How do I cut this? Do I just, tell me. I feel like I should just do this. Do it like that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That makes the most sense. Now, just gotta look a little weird. We're gonna use the hips. To get a rough estimate on how much I should cut from the longest link. So I just a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Just a little bit. Looks like I need to cut just right above that. Just right above my finger. That actually does look right. So if we're eyeballing it. And I'm just gonna do it. I don't care anymore. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna compare it to this, and it looks like it's a little shorter. So we're just gonna cut half, another half inch off. Might I be cutting too much? Very possible. Do they recommend doing a little and then adding more? Yes. Will I follow that recommendation? No. Ready? Okay. <laughs> My finger slit, my finger slit. Oh my God, I look like I have a bowl cut. <laughs> With that, we're gonna make sure it's even. Okay. Oh my God, no, that's a bad idea. I feel like I should not have cut upside down. There's something in me is like, was that a mistake? Probably. So you can tell I'm very reckless with my hair. Hair grows back, it's really not a big deal if you mess up. That's even enough for me. Let's reveal what happened and if we made a grand mistake. Oh my God. It's fine, I'm fine, everything is fine. How does it look? Do I look pretty? Oh, it's actually not that short. Wow, I'm surprised. Oh, I see the layers. The layers are layering. Okay, she's shorter and that's okay. That's fine, because obviously I cut a bunch of hair off. It doesn't make sense for it to be the same length. Let's brush this out because it'd be looking a little crazy. Oh, this is cute actually. Okay, I dig it. I feel like I see that in a bunch of DIY tutorials of this too. Uh, the minute someone undoes it, they're like, what the hell did I do? And then they style it, brush it out, and it's like, oh, cute. So I'm hoping that's like, you know, what's gonna happen to me. I gotta fix this, this is not my normal part, but this is what the hair looks like wet. If you can see, I do have little layers. This actually kind of reminds me more of the wolf, wolf cut, but that's totally cool with me. Layers right here, like there's shorter layers. I actually have a little bit of an inkling that I might have cut the back portion too short compared to the front. And that's why it's looking less defined, less separated. But regardless, I do have some shorter layers like this. I have no idea what it looks like in the back, but I'll show you. So far, I'm not mad at it. And I'm curious to see what it looks like styled. So I'm going to go style it, do a little bit of makeup, and then show you the final look. I'm excited. Alrighty, so this is the finished product. I will say it's definitely shorter than it was before. It was about down here, but it's not too short, so it didn't take a lot of length off. Sorry if the light keeps going in and out. The sun is my lighting and it's just not cooperating. And this is my hair without any product. I did a quick blow dry with my Revlon wand tool because um, I'm not very good at blow drying my hair. So this is kind of what it looks like in its most basic form. But I think if you added some like texturing spray or uh, something just to really separate the layers, you would see it a lot more. 
Um, you can see that I do have some layering here. The only thing is I think I'm going to end up cutting my bangs a little bit shorter, like to my cheekbones, do some curtain bangs. And I mean, y'all saw how much hair I took off. So don't be shy with the haircut. I mean, don't go super crazy with it, but it's very true. If you only take a little off, you're not gonna see anything. Um, because to me, this is like the most basic level of this haircut. I also think this is pretty good for my first time trying this type of haircut. And I encourage you to try it yourself if you've been thinking about it. It wasn't too daunting of a process and I think the results are very good as long as you don't go too crazy and cut it way, way, way too short, you'll be fine. If you like this video, hit that like button below so I know that you enjoy this type of content. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content in the future. As always, if you have any comments, requests, or feedback, leave a comment below. I read every single comment that I get. And again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really enjoy making this type of content and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye.